Hi, this is Michael Levin again, and I will tell you the solution to problem K, tours. <coughs> this is considered to be the hardest problem of these world finals, and it will probably stay unsolved for a long time. So the problem statement tells us basically about some graph. We have nodes and edges, and uh, we should color the edges into some number of colors, so that for any cycle in this graph, the number of edges of each color on this cycle should be equal. The constraints are pretty tough, so there are at most 2,000 nodes and at most 2,000 edges. So there are a lot of graphs possible, actually. So to give you an example of uh, what can be the solution here, for example, for this graph with four nodes and four edges, we have three different answers. One answer is which is always possible, one color. We just color all edges in the same color and it is a correct solution. Another one is drawn here, two black edges and two blue edges. So two colors is also possible. There is only one loop here. And also four colors is possible in this case if we color each of the edges in its own color. So one, two and four are answers for this case. And for this case from the problem statement, the answer is only one because we have cycles of length four and three. And uh, if we want some number of colors possible, it should divide length of each cycle. So only one divides both three and four. So here answer is only one. So how to solve this problem? The first thing that comes to mind is that we should somehow find the greatest common divisor of all lengths of cycles. And then all numbers that are possible number of colors should divide it and find all divisors and that's all. But that's not a correct solution. So of course it is necessary that the correct answer divide this number which is GCD, but it is not sufficient. For example in this case we have a graph with six nodes and seven edges and this graph have, has uh, three cycles, one of length six and two cycles of length four. So the GCD is two. But you can check for yourself that two colors for this graph is actually impossible. So this is one of the tricky corner cases. So one other thing you could do is you could consider all cycles of the graph and then write a system of linear equations to check whether this number of colors is possible or not. But it will be too big of a system because actually with these constraints a full graph on 50 nodes and even more is possible full graph on 50 nodes is not that interesting because the GCD of all cycle lengths will be one and that is easy to show but if you for example make two edges out of each edge or three or four then the GCD will be already non-trivial and the number of cycles in such a graph is around 2 to the power of 50 which is too much to consider in any solution so what is the intended solution. So first we should notice that edges that are bridges don't participate in any cycle so we can remove them safely they don't uh, influence the solution. And then we should make some pretty neat notion of equivalence. So you can see that if for example we consider this edge, these four edges which are like in a row, then all of these four edges should be in any cycle altogether. So this is like true about uh, nodes with degree two, but that's not all the cases where some edges must be in all cycles together. Actually, if we think about that, then uh, we can find an equivalence class for each edge, such that all edges in the equivalence class must be in all cycles together. And how to find that? We just remove some of the edges. For example, we remove this edge and then we find bridges, all the bridges in the remaining doubly connected components. So it was doubly connected but after removing this bridge it is already not doubly connected and then there are some bridges. And on this example, this edge, these four, this one, this one and these two are edges which are in the same class of equivalence. And so always the number of edges with the same, with each color 
in this class of equivalents should be the same. We can prove that. So if you look at this example, and we make two cycles. One is like an external cycle going through bridge, then external part of this cycle, these bridges, then external part, external part, bridge, external part, bridge, and so on. This is one cycle. Another one would be to go edge, internal part of the cycle, bridge, internal part, bridge, internal part, and so on. So these are two cycles in this graph. And uh, in both of them, the number of edges of each color should be equal. But if we, so to say, subtract one cycle from another one, what is left is these edges in the class of equivalence. So we can see that it is necessary that on any such class there will be equal number of uh, edges for each color. This is necessary and it can be shown to be sufficient actually because in any cycle uh, it consists of a set of equivalence classes basically because they have to, com uh, to be in the cycle altogether. And so the necessary and sufficient condition for the number of colors to be correct is that it divides all the sizes of all classes of equivalence that we can find this way. So basically what we need to do is to compute the greatest common divisor of all the sizes of equivalence classes and then uh, output all divisors of this number. And then we get the profit. Thanks. <laughs>